Okay, morning everybody. I thought what we would do this morning is have a look at the National 5 Relationship Sheet. That's the equation sheet. Now, we've met 10 equations in electricity. We also met 3 equations in waves, 4 equations in nuclear radiation. So I think it's about time that we had a look at the equation sheet. Remember, you don't have to remember any of these equations. So it's a good idea to have one handy either on your phone or in your jotter so you can refer to it at any time. All the equations you need are on it. There's the three equations that we met when we did waves back in third year. There's the four equations that you met when you did nuclear radiation back in third year as well. And there are 10 electricity equations. So really we have to be familiar with them. You don't memorise them. You just need to know where to go to find them. And they're all on the equation sheet. So 10 electricity equations. Let's have a little look at them one at a time. They're all on the left hand side of the relationship sheet. And they're grouped according to really the, the order that we did it in. So let's look at them one at a time. What I suggest you do is get a copy of this equation sheet and then for each equation, highlight it and make sure you know what each of the symbols stands for. So what is the name of the quantity and also what unit is it measured in. So Q is charge, it's measured in coulombs. I is current, measured in amps. T is time, measured in seconds. V is voltage, otherwise known as potential difference, measured in volts. And again, we've got I for current, and R is resistance, measured in ohms. Now, those symbols will appear again and again and again. Voltage, resistance, measured in ohms. Vs, if you see it, is the supply voltage, maybe a battery or a main supply. If there's two resistors, R1 and R2, it's because there's multiple resistors in a series or parallel circuit. Now, on the subject of series and parallel circuits, there's the two equations for adding resistors. First one, adding resistors in series. Pretty straightforward, you just add them together. Then the tricky one underneath, adding resistors in parallel. Very difficult to use, needs a bit of practice. Then we have four Power equations. Power is energy over time. Energy is in joules. Time in seconds. Power is always measured in watts, no matter which equation you use. And, and there's our usual symbols for current and voltage and resistance. Again, so watch out which power equation you're using. Depends on the numbers in the question. Now, because we've got so many equations, a lot of people like to put equations into a triangle form, it makes it easier to rearrange them. So I suggest you do that with each of the equations. There's P equals E over T. If I do the rest with the other three power equations, remember it's the two quantities that are beside each other that go at the bottom, so it's I times V, so P at the top, I V at the bottom. P equals I squared times R, and then in the bottom one, it's V squared at the top, because it's V squared over R. So if it helps you to put your equations into triangles, do it. There's Q equals IT in a triangle, I times T in the bottom, and the most important one of all, Ohm's Law, let's make it a bit bigger, V equals I times R. Highlighting them as well if you're doing this on paper. And I suggest you do take a sheet of paper, write out all your equations, put them in triangles, make sure you know what they all stand for, highlight them in different colours. And also, if you want different colour to highlight our pen, you can highlight what the quantities are and what the symbols are. So take a bit of time, get to know the equation sheet. You will get a brand new fresh one during your exam, but there's no excuse for not getting to know it just now. 
There are two equations we really haven't met yet. That's these two here. Again, they contain voltage and resistance, and we're going to spend the rest of the week looking at them. They're called the voltage divider equations. And then that'll be electricity, pretty much done before the summer holidays. OK, have a great day. Whereabouts can you get one of these relationship sheets? Well, there's three places. There's already one in Google Classroom, in the classroom area. Just scroll down to the bottom to the useful documents. There's also one on the physics page of the school website. Just look in the National 4 National 5 area. Again, it's in the useful documents. And the third place is the SQA website. If you just Google relationship sheet. National 5 Physics, you'll find it on the SQA website as well. Get one, print it out, or save it to your iBooks, or save it onto your phone, because it will become your best friend when you're doing tutorials, or homeworks, or past papers, and you'll be familiar with it for the final exam. So the National 5 Relationship Sheet.